welcome back to the channel it's been a while uh, I'd like to share with you something that I've been playing for a little bit I kind of getting into it and I kind of really like it it's Nino Kuni Cross Worlds I'm playing on the PC version of it um, but it is essentially a mobile game and if you've watched uh, Studio Ghibli before you probably can see the artwork and the music. I mean, here you can see the composer is Joy Hisaishi, which is the composer for Studio Ghibli. So let's try and get into it. So I'm playing on the Aqua Gemini uh, server. Uh, the server has a lot of um, Asian players, uh, and I have plenty of friends, uh, gaming friends that are Asian based. So. Um, with this game, you have one account, but you can play five different characters. Um, so I would suggest to just concentrate on uh, one character. Uh, like for this one, for example, I'm concentrating on Swordsman. Uh, he's at level 54, but everybody else, um, like an engineer, it's like a, a long range uh, shooter, uh, which is like a long range magic. Destroyer is like the bruiser type, you know, tanky and, and high damage and rogue is kind of again another long range, probably more of the crowd control and um, AOECC. Alright, so let's get into it. So I want to discuss today for beginners what to watch out and some tips that I found while playing the game. So what do you need to watch out to, uh, playing it daily? The first thing first, this is the city, um, as you can see. So the first thing first is the free stuff that you can get from knocking things, from kicking things or destroying things. So at first, when you log in, uh, this is what I would suggest you to do daily. You know, just here we have this fountain that you can just um, continue uh, what do you call it? Throwing coins, and when you throw coins, you get. You can see here you get stuff. Okay, and sometimes you can get a costume, which is you know really good. The second one that you can kick around, you know, is the trees. See, you can get something from the trees. Right. So, all right. So the next one, I'll show you. The quickest one is if I go to this genie. Okay, now next to, to this genie, we have a few things. Um, so the first one that you can also uh, try and find things are these flowers. And you'll get something when you basically interact with the flowers. So the good, <laughs> the good thing is if you press F1 on PC, okay, you have uh, all the shortcuts showing, right? You know, Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, Q, E, R. But this doesn't have, this action doesn't have a shortcut, but it's actually on the keyboard is the F key. Okay? So the F key will help you get the, uh, you know, interact with objects. So here, what I'll do, I think, give me a second. So, uh, Okay, here for example, um, there's another thing that you can destroy, which is these boxes. See, you can just destroy them, right? Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> opening up a stall. So do those. There's so boxes, flowers, trees, and the fountain. Those will give you free stuff, and then sometimes, oh, <laughs> grabbing a cat. Uh, sometimes you can get costume from it. Yeah, so do that daily. Okay, so it is a good tip that I found from some people that I play with. The second one, as a, um, you know, this is an MMORPG. It's supposed to be played by, with friends or with a guild. So join a guild, join a kingdom here. So I'm a member of uh, the North Kingdom. You know, there's plenty of activities, you know, you have like this kind of like 
defense yeah of like war sometimes if somebody declare war and then you can you get into the the pvp between kingdoms and there will be more content for kingdoms that will open later but, but you do hear also you can go check in right uh to the kingdom and there is one thing in the kingdom that i want to show you guys that's quite important okay so let's do a quick check-in all right got some rewards you know checked in and you know donate you know usually you have um uh the requirements of the kingdom you know our kingdom at the moment is just asking for gold and a little bit of obsidian i'm just giving one one for now but later i'll give more when i after i farm so this is done okay now here's the thing okay if you open a map this is basically a simple shortcut of what's going on around the map so you can go to the general store okay now let me show you something in general store dependent on what's the level of your uh, kingdom you can get pretty interesting stuff in the store this is the best one okay so 50 kingdom points for exp now what i would recommend is for you guys to use this on your secondary characters okay i'll explain a little bit why and then the other one that's quite cool is monthly you can get this uh, mount see pretty cool everybody else is riding a cat right <laughs> but we're riding this so the quick tip here is okay so mounts mounts is the thing that you can ride around and it's like a there are a variety of things right you know so some of these are like the the six stars they're basically you you buy them <laughs> buy them on the, in the shop <laughs> that's pretty much how you get them but this one you can only get it from um gacha uh in the genie pot okay this one you get from the start so while you're riding this one so see you know I'm, i've mounted this cat you can actually change the appearance of your mount so if you see here if i change it again i'm riding the cat right but then if i change it and here i change it to mount appearance right i'm using the cp of this cat but i'm actually riding the robot which is pretty cool okay so that's a quick tip for you guys now the other thing about the exp okay so what you want to do is this you select a character right now i'm currently what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get this engineer to level 40. i'll show you the reason why i would like to do that okay so here i'll go to the kingdom quickly i'm getting or getting destroyed I'll go to the general store. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Actually, I want to get this character to level 40. Okay? So once your character, the main character is around 50 plus, it will get slow, right? But what you want to do is get this EXP from here, right? Which is pretty good. Okay, you can buy other stuff that upgrade your um units see straight away level 37 okay now the reason why i want to do this is because you have class grade and if you get to level 40 you get all of this for the character okay you get gold you get turret energy now this is great because then you get more of this right but i don't think they stack up so i don't think each character will stack up you can only get like if you see here only 2100 <coughs> max so, so which is pretty much just level one and level two right but you get the you get everything else you get diamonds right sorry where right you get gold i mean like if, if, if it's level 60 you get diamonds you get the weapon of that character you get swift solution certificate which is great to upgrade other characters as well 
And this is the important part, the inventory, right? Because inventory is a little bit tricky because the inventory is being shared by four, sorry, five different characters. So they all mixed up, okay? Only, only armors and, and accessories are shared, but the weapons, they are all mixed up. And then you get more and more of all of this stuff, guys, right? And then they will basically <clears throat> fill up your inventory pretty quickly. You'll get a full inventory and then you can't loot more. Okay, so the important part of it, once you get your main character to level um, 50 straight away, you know, change it and start leveling up the other characters. Just, I guess the first thing is to 20 and then after that, level it up to um, 40 because, you know, it gets boring after a while. You can keep on doing the um, uh, kind of main story. You will get probably up up to 35 maybe but then you get stuck there then you do this right you do that and then the other one is do this okay do the swift solutions okay so what i found out is for this swift solutions this is daily refresh guys but if you accept this on the character that accepted it the um axp like you can see is 89 it will go to the character that accepted it. So it cannot be shared with another character. Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm going to accept this too because it's premium, right? Which is great. I'm going to accept this too. Now, what's different between premium and normal? You can see the the EXP, they're different, right? There's more premium or, or you know, premium is more. You can see here, but you can refresh this, guys. And I would suggest to refresh it a couple of times, to, you know, a day to get more premium stuff. See, I get more premium here. I want to accept it. And I'm hoping, hoping I get a rare. Nope. One more. Please. Yes. So if I get a rare, the cool thing is I might get, I have a chance to get this familiar soup, summon coupon. This is really good, guys, because this is the one that you used for gacha. Okay. I'll refresh one more, I guess. You know, cold is a little bit tight, but yeah, okay, you know, forget it. <laughs> I'm not gonna refresh anymore. All right, that's done. So you can actually do this, right, manually, which I will do later, or you can actually just finish it now, right? So I'll give you an example. If I want to finish it, I will finish this one, right? I will get the experience straight away, right? And I'm hoping, hoping, come on, get it. This, ah, no, I didn't get that. But you know what? I'll just complete everything, right? Because too lazy. You know, just complete everything. Get it over and done with. Right? You know, as you can see, I climb up to level 38 straight away. Okay? Which is great, right? Because I want to get this character level 40 as well to get that class crate. Because it boosted the CP boosted the CP of the account and boosted the CP of the character. All right, nice, okay. So that's the thing, okay. So, you know, see now you have to do your world poses as well, guys, making sure that you do all of these challenges daily. Now, the other tip that I can give you as well, for field poses, okay, they have four times. No, let me just lower the music a little bit. It's a little bit crazy. Okay, so for field bosses, what you get is that you appear four times a day, but then when you do this, you can actually check the channels. So usually what happened, go to the top channel and then work your way down. You can actually, uh, like it, uh, sometimes in the morning, work for my server, like seven o'clock in the morning, not many people will be on, right? So we, I can actually do this boss like four or five times dependent on you know how good the people are so the other bosses probably like lower cp they're gonna get you know destroyed very quickly but actually you can um channel hop and you probably can get maybe up to two or three dependent but this one is really tanky and it's really hard you can get up to five 
of these pauses. So do it daily, do it as many as you can. I know it's demanding, but hey, that's a game, right? Okay, make sure you do your events, you know, uh, daily, of course, right? Get all of them sorted out, right? So yeah, those kind of things, guys. Uh, oh, the other thing as well, before I forgot, in the shops. Okay, actually check the shops. I know you, you probably don't, you know, F2P and you don't want to buy anything. That's fine, right? But check the bundles. Sometimes they have free um, things, see? Like daily gifts, free, you know? Claim it. You got what I mean? Uh, buy it for 20, 20k. Uh, cool. Buy that one, guys, because this will upgrade your weapons or you know um equipments and this this one will upgrade your um familiar you know they are free or they you can buy you know another 20k a day right it doesn't take long to get 20k uh but yeah just do that have a look around you know uh, let me see here's another one is it here yeah see there's an event give it for free get it you know over here you can buy the potions you know like when you get a level high enough you can buy these potions if you are refilling your gems guys or buying weekly i would recommend to get this this one will boost your energy right so sorry no energy you will boost your drop rates see Oops, obtain 700 percent more exp goal of prices you want this right you want to buy this well, let me let me buy it actually i want it okay so yeah, do those, have a look around, making sure, so this one, for example, I think I've got a couple of them, you know, uh, this, uh, the shards, you get it from, you know, doing everything around. Um, yeah, so those pretty much are the things that I would recommend doing, you know, which is great. Um, I mean, you, you know most of this, you do your dailies and this like that. And the other one that I found out that it's quite handy to understand it's on your records guys right you have these enemies right when you're kind of a bit bored and nothing else to do you can kind of stack them just do this this will push your cp as well guys okay for example this guy okay i need 16 more soul stones so i'll go there okay i'll fast travel i'll go there okay See the the beauty of this game is just auto auto pathing, right? You don't need to worry about finding where they are, just lead you to it. Okay, this guy I think is in the wood area. Oh well, yeah, this one here. So I just put it into auto and just keep on destroying them. Okay. And then soon what will happen is you will get the soul stones of the of the unit. Well, somebody else is there uh, if somebody else is there guys and you you know you're kind of like oh that's gonna reduce your chances of you know getting soul stones then move to a different channel okay so that one uh, let me check record yeah i'm not getting anything because because the dude is kind of trying to get it so move to a different channel, move to channel 2, you know, you'll be on the same spot anyway, right? And then start it up. Oh, that's a bit crowded over here, guys. But, you know, some people just leave you, leave you to it, you know? And what you can do, you can also eat this, um, this thing here. Aroma of focus and then it will give you more soul stones drops. Okay, let me see if I get it already. Uh, no, not yet. But yeah, do do some of these enemies when you get bored, you know, you, you don't know what to do. This will help boost your CP, as you can see. Your CP is increasing, but also it will boost your attack. For example and then not only that you will also get rewards like you know 30 stars you get the summon ticket okay so do do this guys it's really good uh, really really handy okay all right what else what else um 
I think that's pretty much it, guys. You know, start hedging a familiar. Like you know, do you you know you know what to do daily on on all of this. I don't really need to tell you. Um, I think you got that. But yeah, those are the things I just want to let you know. You know, okay. Well, while you guys are here, let's do a quick, uh, cheeky summon. Uh, on the equipment. Actually, I need to jump on my main character so that I don't want this character to get it. So let me go to. I'm gonna grab, but the cool thing is, okay, is that when, if you get those swift things, like the swift uh, tasks that we had before, you can actually use the other character to finish it, and then the, you know, the other units or the other characters that you started with will get the EXP. Not the character that you, you're finishing it with, but the one that started up. Okay, so let's do a quick. Um, summon on the equipments. Oh, I really want this one, guys. I hope I get it. Uh, might need to get some packs to to buy it. So let's do five summons. Hopefully, we get a shiny <laughs> or four stars. That'd be good. But we'll see. Ah, rubbish. If I get a red box. That's the one that's good. If I get those kind of boxes, it's not good. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's go, come on. Nah, rubbish. Skip it. Come on, three more. Please, give me something good. Nah. Ah, uh, not bad. Three stars. You can use it for uh, upgrade. Or level up. Nah. Okay, last one. Lucky last. Come on. Lucky last. Let's go. Let's go. Please. Yes. Yes. What am I gonna get? It's a four star, guys. This is a sign of a four star. Uh, hopefully it's a shiny. Come on, please make it a shiny. Oof. Come on. Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's go. Come on, something good, please. Let it be an arm. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> it's a dupe. But hey, it's not bad. Four star divine sword. It's not shiny. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a really good one. Uh, well, we ended on a high. Uh, I already got a uh, and the infinity blade. I'm also hoping to get another dupe of that. But hey, you know, four star, four star, which I already had before here. Can't complain. Can't complain. Let me awaken it. Right. Awaken 20k going bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, not bad. There you go. Well, okay, so also, guys, don't forget to actually upgrade your lower lower levels because they actually give you CP boost as well as in the collection. So if I go to the collection uh, records collection right see basic two star upgrade if you upgrade them you will get cp update right so you get you get plus 21 health and so on and so forth so don't just throw them just upgrade them first and once you so you get the basic one here then you upgrade it to two star and upgrade it to three star and four star blah 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 okay it will take a lot of resources guys so do this sparingly concentrate on your you know four star above weapons first and armor i would concentrate actually on armors and weapons that give you attack like this gives you attack all of this gives you attack and yeah so this one for example has hp and crit but yeah just try and upgrade the ones that you have like shinies or four stars 
that's the one that will give you the most CP boost. Well, um, that's all for now, guys. Hopefully this helps. And yeah, if you uh, if you think this helps, um, please like and subscribe. If you have any other tip um, on how to um, do things more effectively in Nino Kuni, uh, please leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.